Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. I want to um, ask you to do something for me. I want you to ask, I want to ask you to have like a really open mind. Okay. If I wanted to introduce you to this girl who was a bully, who was, did drugs, beat people up, stole money from her mom, um, gossiped, ace, gossiped, hurt people, um, fooled around with other people's boyfriends, would you be willing to give this person a chance? Would you allow this person into your life? What if I told you that that person now was trying very hard every day to be better, was, was actively seeking human connection and social responsibility, kindness, was walking the walk and talking the talk and getting on her knees and asking for forgiveness and really wanting it and extending it to others, how would you feel? If somebody described me by my past, you wouldn't give me a chance. Most of you wouldn't. It's because you know the new me and who I am now and you see all the work I've put in and you see my life after salvation and you see me in my most naive, no, no, vulnerable place that you are able to love me. You can justify loving me despite my moles and scars from my past because you have allowed yourself to get to know who I am now. How many of us carry things from our past that we regret and are never given the grace that I have been given? How many of us have made mistakes and have put the work in, but our mistakes still haunt us? They still follow us. They follow us at work. They follow us in relationships. When we When we judge people by who they were, we never, ever, ever give them a chance to be the person they are now. I, you know, one time in talking to Father Bob about a lot of different things, he said to me, well, if I said to you last night, these beggars came to my door, knocking on the door in the middle of the night, asking if I would let them, if I had a place for them to sleep. They were dirty. They were hungry. I didn't know who they were. They were from a different land, different place, and they had nothing to offer. She was pregnant, and it looked like they were nothing but trouble. So I was like, yeah, get off my porch. He said, I'd like to remind you that Mary and Joseph were those people, essentially beggars looking for a place to stay, wanderers, nomads, and people turned them away. Sometimes we miss wonderful people and experiences that are meant to change us because we can't get over someone's past. We can't get over, we, we make them their mistakes. Instead of seeing them for who they are, we see their mistakes. We want grace in our own lives and we want people to forgive our own shortcomings. 
but then we either relish in other people's mistakes because whoo, pressure's not on me anymore. Nobody's looking at me anymore. Nobody's talking about my affair anymore because so-and-so had one. Ha ha, so-and-so, you had an affair. Whoo, nobody's looking at me. Or we meet someone and we go, we don't describe them for who they are. We immediately introduce them by their past. She was that, the girl that, with the drug problem. He was arrested, member. Well, how does anybody stand a chance? Where is the grace in that? What if you have been praying for a friend? Let's just say. And someone introduces you to someone that has been sent just for you. But you are not open-minded. You judge them based on decisions they've made in the past. Now, I would say we have to bat, we have to weigh, right? We gotta weigh it out. So if someone came to me and was like, this is Mr. So-and-so, he's molested 75 children, I would be like, yeah, I'm not comfortable with that. I, I appreciate the work you're doing on yourself, but I'm gonna have to, this won't work for me. I'm not talking about the extreme. Obviously, if somebody has like premeditatedly killed 70 people, no, those are not mistakes you should forgive. I'm talking about indiscretions that we all make as human beings, especially when we're young. You have to give people the chance to grow and repent and learn because if we don't, listen, our pasts are all dirty, but our futures are spotless. It's up to us how we proceed. So all I'm saying is give people a chance. Extend the grace to them that you would want extended to you because we are not our mistakes. We are how we grow from our mistakes, how we learn from our mistakes and who we become from our mistakes. It's just something to think about. I love you all today. It is hump day. Halfway there. I love you so much. Have a great day.